Okay, so we found another issue in our Norman hybrid here. Um, and what you can see is we already loosened this plate here. And we were wondering why our skid shoes were locked solid. You can't move them up or down right now. We took the leaf springs out, make sure those come out and they're still solid as a rock on both the left and the right side. So um, Eric came in here and he noticed that this bushing in here um, is I think seized or there's sand in between the bushing and the metal, not letting the skid shoe to be able to maneuver up and down freely. So we have two ideas. We're gonna either A, get a smaller bushing that could fit in there, or B, we're gonna take this bushing out, grind it down, put it back in, and then the skid shoe should float up and down a lot more freely. We'll show you guys what we do. So as you can see, we just took the bolt out of the skid shoe here, and you cannot take that bushing out. It is seized in there solid. Probably some sand in between there. That's what we're thinking. But it's too tight. Right? But it's definitely too tight. So we're gonna fix that up right now. Very efficient way, way to clean your bushing and hopefully it will get loosened in between the metal in there yep Looks but great. i still think it we will need to have that metal a little bit farther away so it doesn't catch with anything right yep a little rock in there will will make it um tight again right so yep. that's what is going on in there. let's try it out okay yep. so we got our uh, bushing all grinded up now you can see that bushing can maneuver up and down to the groove in the, in the steel um, skid shoe nice and flushly so just make sure guys like as soon as you find your skid shoes are getting locked up first take the leaf spring out second make sure you clean all in here like eric did and if you see that bushing seize grab the wheel grinder grind it down or you can go purchase a smaller one whatever works best for you now you can see there's a little bit of play in there which is what you want and uh i don't think we'll have a problem again unless another piece of uh sand or rock gets in there and clogs us up a bit but that's a minor, minor you can fix. Just, you can just tap it if it's something. But, yeah, and it'll fall in, out. In this case, it was way too tight. Yeah. And it was rusty, so it was just not allowing it to It was work stuck properly. there. Yeah. That's it. We'll show you guys when it's all bolted up here. So we got this bushing all fixed up here and the skid shoes maneuvering properly. But if you want to make it a bit smoother, you're going to have to grind down all the bushings um you have to open it up in here and get the bushing out of here grind that down and then there's another bushing in the back right there where my finger's pointing i'll zoom in there is not too much of a problem in that one but that one's not too bad i don't think you're gonna have to touch it um you may though if you get a bunch of grimy sand like you're seeing in the video that's what's caught in there causing it to seize up and lock up so um, yeah, make sure you check all three. You might be able to just get away with the front. You might be able to get away with the front and the middle, but you might need to do all three. So just make sure you check all of them. See, look how smooth that is. That moves up and down so freely. There's tons of room in there. So ever have that issue on any of your blowers? It's, it's what we showed you in the last couple clips. So make sure you uh, don't forget about that. And if you ever need to watch back, please do.